Okay, uh, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. Okay, so today I'm going to share with you all on the lab number two. Okay, it's, this, this is basically lab zero, but it's lab number two for you lah because you will need to do your own design for lab number two. But the step is actually uh, lab number zero part C. Or I here I already uploaded um the material okay under the folder that lab zero okay okay if you scroll further down and at, at the end of the attachment you will see the uh, file okay lab guide part c icc version april 2020 i'm just making uh, some update I'm just finish lah, making an update on this okay so when we open the lab manual so maybe i can zoom it a bit Okay, so uh, the preliminary uh, task required before you perform lab number two, actually you need to uh, have a synthesized DDZ format file. Okay, for example, multiplier dot uh, DDC. Okay, the, the DDC file is actually generated after you successfully completed your lab number one uh, using the synopsis design vision. Okay, so the at the end of the, that that lab, you will save as your synthesized design, your multiplier or whatever design that you're performing, as DDC format. Okay, and that DDC format is very important as you will be using that format for complete completing the uh, lab number two. So lab number two basically uh, we call it as automatic place and route using Synopsis this IC compiler. Okay, so it's actually a process of uh, layout synthesis. You can see it's clearly shown here. Uh, from the specification, we have done the RTL coding and simulation in lab number one, okay, or lab zero, right? And then uh, this is actually using uh, what we call as, um, maybe I can uh, write something here. So this is using uh, design very long, very long. Uh, compiler simulator under synopsis okay or sometimes we call Chokong VCS okay, okay. And then uh, you also perform uh, another task which is uh, logic synthesis logic synthesis we use another software package under synopsis we call it as uh, design Vision, okay. Design, vision, synopsis, design, vision, or sometimes we call it design compiler. Okay. Design compiler and compiler. Okay. The design vision is actually the name that we need to type up on the terminal. Okay, design compiler, and then finally in lab number two. We will using uh, Synopsis IC compiler. Okay, Synopsis IC compiler. So IC compiler. Or sometimes we call it as ICC. Okay. Hope everyone clear on this. Okay. So we have. Uh, uh, okay, maybe we can use different color to make it. make it clear okay so maybe green color okay so um we actually uh, almost finished uh, okay the lab design okay actually on uh finally we we actually on layout synthesis using automatic place and route okay and then after finish this we can do the next step which is a verification and also a tap out Okay, for the lab number two, we will do or focus on uh, the highlighted box here, which is the synthesis and automatic. Okay, so I already um, got some important information here. Okay, I have some important information. So in this exercise, the synthesizing and synthesized design in the previous exercise, which is the uh, the DDC file that you have uh, finished in lab number one. Okay. Uh, will be used for layout synthesis. Okay, 
as highlighted here. Okay. During this exercise, we will, we will be using Synopsys product family for synthesis, uh, which we call as IC compiler. Okay. So the IC compiler is actually the task is to, to perform an automatic place and route. Okay. We do, we do not do that operation manually. Okay. Normally the software will do for us. So in this case, Synopsys IC compiler will do for us. Okay. Place and route. Place and route. Okay. So this is, this allows the designer to design the layout uh, efficiently. Uh, okay. And try to reduce the human error. All right. So basically we have uh, steps to settle it. Actually the first step, first thing first, you have to do this. Okay. Source synopsis uh, dot sh. Okay. And then need to launch before you launch, you settle step number one and then you launch the ic compiler okay this is actually the command all right so to see it clearly uh, maybe we can go to the what we call um, practical okay i will share with you all maybe i can make it uh, side by side so that everyone can see it clearly okay or maybe i move it somewhere else okay then you can see the uh, screen easily, okay, clearly. Okay, first you need to log in first. No more, okay. This is before uh, because I uh, forgot to log out just now. Okay, so we have finished lab number one. Okay, okay. In this case, I place everything in lab number zero. Lah, okay, so you copy the source folder. So inside the source folder, we have all the file okay generated after you perform the uh, synopsis design vision or design compiler okay this is actually the required file as i mentioned just now multiply underscore uh, syn dot ddc okay this is actually the the, the design file multiplier dot v okay in my case okay in your case might be different okay and then this is actually the uh, generated ddc file so for lab number two we're not interested on the test branch anymore Right. Okay. So all the uh, the, uh, the 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 important files are already here. Okay. Just to make sure. Then you back to the uh, up, upper folder and then you copy this. And then you go to um, lab number two and then you paste it. Okay. Now we have the folder in lab number two. And then you double click on the that particular folder and then you right click on it and open a terminal. So this is because we want to work from a terminal okay so to to see or double check the content you just type ls and then you should be able to see the um what we call a ddc file okay and then to see what uh what is it, our current directory you type pwd and then you should be able to see that's actually the working directory of our project so first thing first you need to uh perform the assault synopsis the sh okay don't forget the white space here if you forgot the white space here and then you will not, not work okay so when you enter it nothing happened like this one means that is okay okay and then you can start type the ic shell okay icc shell follow the step in the let me know so icc underscore shell white space gui so remember to have a white space before the dash gui okay and then we wait for a while for this system to load the software, the ICC. So the ICC will know, will pop up. Okay. All right. So look at the log window. So we have the, we have, can, we can see here the progress. Lah. We have the ICC share and then we can also see the history tab. Okay. So history tab shows us uh, the step lah, that we have done so far okay so far we just uh, on step number one right so this is actually the icc shell whereby you will type the command to the ic compiler okay we can either using this command or using the pull down menu inside under the gui okay there means that two ways for you to enter the instruction lah, for the software right okay <clears throat> okay to uh, first actually we need to set up okay set up the 
work environment so maybe i can bring the instruction here okay so first we need to set up the work environment okay and then after we finish set up the work environment we will need to i think uh, perform the the rest of the step so see, all of this actually set, set up the work environment and also until you get the layout okay this is just an overview for you to see uh, fixing the uh, the rc and bs errors and so on okay here i also put an appendix uh, for you to see actually what's actually the important step uh, need to be done in your uh, what we call in your design in your lab number two so we start with uh, setting setting up our library okay environment okay setting up the environment okay first we need to create the library all right so to do it to do it we maybe we start first with the gui so file maybe i make it bigger so go to file okay and then um, create library create library so in this case um, we just follow the step given to you okay we have uh, dots here okay okay maybe i can bring to you okay the step zoom it a bit so that everyone can see it clearly Okay, so we see here dot and then multiplier. Okay, dot mw. Okay, so we start with this. So dot and then we give the name. Okay, in my case, I give it as multiplier. Lah. Multiplier dot. Uh, please follow the step carefully. The mw. Dot m. Okay, and then for the technology file, it's actually referring to uh, in the folder of EDA. Lah. You go to, I think, under computer. Okay, and then EDA. And then under uh, REF, okay, and then technology. Alright. So under that, uh, you choose the CB13 underscore 6. Okay, and open it. Okay, now we can see it here. Okay, and then what's the next step? We give the input reference libraries. Okay, basically, uh, if you can see here, we have three different libraries. Okay, SC, IO, and also RAM. So we need to add all these three libraries. Okay, so all from the uh, location of EDA ref. Okay, so we need to browse manually to add it. So under EDA ref, and then the first is actually SC under the MW library. Okay, and then this one, this is the one that we are looking for, and then choose it. So make sure it's listed here, and then we add the second one, which is the IO. Okay, okay, and then the last one is the memory so the memory we use ram 16 by 128 which is this one okay once everything is okay it's done uh, make sure you click this one open library okay and then you double check all the steps huh, inside your lab so if everything is okay so this is done okay done and done and also this is also done and this is done okay we have the dot there and if everything is okay and then you click on okay so you see the step number two we have created the mw underscore lib or library lah. and we also have set all the libraries lah. okay the this the first one and the the, ref, the technology then the reference uh, reference library sc io and also the ram okay so this is actually the step we have, that we have done so far. You can also go to the log and see what happened. Lah. 
Okay, you can also see the warnings here. A lot of uh, some warning, okay, not to say a lot lah. Okay, uh, some warning, but this warning is uh, actually initial because we didn't set any constraint or any setting in our uh, floor plan and so on. That's why we didn't uh, we get this warning, right? Don't worry about it. Okay, next we proceed to our next step. Okay, which is uh, maybe I can show to you again. Uh, set up the link. Okay, target and also symbol library. So we have three things to do here as well: link, target, and also symbol library. Okay, we go to application setup. So file application setup. So file, and then we go to I think we go to setup. Okay, application setup. All right, for application setup, uh, this is actually pretty similar to the one that we did in our uh, Synopsis Design Compiler, right? Synopsis DC in our lab, lab number one, we have done this. So uh, don't touch on the search part, okay? The, just focus on link library, target library, and symbol library, okay? For the target library, okay? Uh, for the link library, sorry, you need to find the location of the uh, target library. So we have in our manual okay so let's see the first step so like this one the first view when we do it and then we go to this the folder ref huh? eda same folder ref and dd and then you select uh, io okay max ram 16 by 128 and also sc max so these are the libraries we call it lah, okay for the link library and so on so link library here so we set this Okay, this three, yeah. right? Okay, so we do this. So we delete all unnecessary link. Okay, first we go browse for EDA folder. Okay, and then ref, and then SC Max DB. Where is SC Max DB? Is under DB. So SC Max DB. Okay. And C underscore max db and then open and then uh, add uh, sorry and then we we can say click OK and then this is actually the library right you can see clearly the blue box or blue color here means that the library path is searchable by the software make sure it's blue and then go for the next one delete this one first and then go for the the other library which is uh, io max so io max db okay, then open it and then uh, add okay the next library is actually symbol library okay so we have finished the link library target library the symbol library so why we need this library you need to explore it okay you go online and check under the uh, whatever resources that you you, you can get so there's lots of resources resources actually also from the synopsis uh, website okay and then you try to explore why we need this and report in in your lab okay that's give you extra point actually because you do further or extra words okay for the next one symbol library delete it first and then you add the 16 by uh, ram 16 by 128 max db underscore max db so it's a lot of selection uh, can be choose here okay can be chosen here but please make sure that you choose the correct one always double check okay so now we can see all of these three are in blue color mean that means that it's okay and then you click um okay apply and then okay so when you apply it means that it's okay, okay. then you can cancel okay all right Okay, next, uh, what to do? Okay, if you can see in under the uh, library, under the let me know, sorry, we also have alternative way like this one. Okay, this is actually the alternative way for you to do the, uh, you know, coding, uh, sorry, command, command for the IC compiler on the ICC share. Okay, okay, but we since we already applied. Okay, uh, no need to follow this, this because this is alternative. Okay, 
Alright, so next so we have the blue, the blue color, okay. Okay, uh, we don't have the arrow, lah. this is just I think for for example, lah. I think we don't have any arrow. You can see the log part, okay, no arrow. Okay, don't worry about this one, okay. Right, and then next what we do is actually we set the TLU. What is TLU? So TLU plus file specify the RC model. Okay, we will cover this in our lecture. Okay, uh, so in general or overview. So RC model is actually uh, give a model, uh, resistance and capacitance model or timing model uh, because timing uh, exists. Uh, the delays uh, is actually uh, exist uh, due to the factor of resistance, capacitance in the circuits. And we also have, an, also have another element which is inductance, but we're not focusing this. Uh, discussion so RC model is actually the uh, resistance and capacitance element that give the delays to our circuit or our chip so we need to model it so to do it uh, we need to model or set it using a set TLU plus okay and we have uh, here actually max and min TLU and also the yeah, the important parameters here okay don't worry we will do it together all right so the detail of this uh, you can google get it online or from textbook or whatever uh, to to put in, inside your report okay okay so the step is file and then uh, set tlu and then you go to um, you browse actually you browse for the location of um, EDA folder, okay, EDA ref TLUP, okay, and then the first one you choose CB13 underscore 6 max, okay, this one, and then you open it, and then the next one, and then you go for the same folder, okay, TULP, this time we choose min, okay, see it, okay, this time no blue box, lah. okay. And then the, the last one, we go for um, uh, layer name mapping file, okay, between technology library and ITF file. So what is actually this one? You can get it online too, and then uh, report it uh, in the report, okay. Either online or a textbook or a synopsis manual online, okay. So the next actually, uh, C under that one is under TULP. Okay, you need to browse it. EDA, TULRF, TULP. I think this one. Okay, CB13 under the score 6M.MAP. Then you open it. So everything is okay. And then you click okay. You see, so we can see in history we have set the TLU. Okay about the folder that we have uh, assigned just now okay um, under i think if i'm not mistaken under setup application setup uh, you can double check okay it's already as, uh, assigned to these three uh, important location lah, link library target library and symbol library although it's not uh, mentioned here or listed here that step as long as, as it's uh, here means that it's okay I think because of uh, we just we click apply just now. I'm not sure if you click OK on that button uh, on this one. Eh? Maybe I can show on this one. OK. Uh, before before that we we click apply right. So I'm not sure if you just click OK straight away. Maybe we can get that step. But as long as you can see it listed here, correct path, and then that should be OK. Okay. You can also double confirm by click on this one and search lah. Okay. All right, so we have settled the set, setting the TLU. So what's next? So I bring it here for easy reference. So locating the RC model and the uh, map file. Okay, so I already put the information. And then locate all the timing capacitor libraries and so on. Okay, this is actually the alternative way to do it using the uh, shell. Okay, using the ICC shell. So this way we're not yet using it. You can try using this way, no problem. That's good too. So next step number two, adding your synthesizer. So this is actually the DDC file that we have uh, saved in our lab number one. Okay, 
the synthesize very log file or your DDC file. Okay, we need that file to perform place and route. Okay. Okay, to do it, uh, you go to file and import design. Okay. File and import design. All right, so you can also check the log if there is, if there is any errors or whatever. So nothing is it's okay. Okay. And then we go to file to import the design. Okay. Always uh, look at the manual uh, so that you will not miss important step. So file and then import design. Okay. File import design is here. File import design. Don't don't confuse with this import. Uh. The this import import design. Then you choose DDC file and then you add that file okay where is the file so you go to your uh, working directory okay where is your working directory so in my case mine is under that uh, mm, uh, here lab number two okay this is actually the edc file and then you open it Okay, once it's already open and then it's in here and then you double check. Okay, double check. So I think uh, we have chosen the radio button DDC and then we have add it. This is alternative way. Okay, as I mentioned to you just now using this the, the ICC shell and then we finish that one. Okay, and then we click OK. It will take some time, okay, to load your design to the ICC. Okay, so don't worry if you get this warning or errors because we didn't set any uh, what we call uh, adjustment to our design yet. So this is actually regarding to the design rule check. So I think it's in here also we see the error. So don't worry about this error. It tells you about the uh, design rule check. Uh, okay. Okay, it's perform the design rule checks while uh, automatically. Yeah? So when you do the when you import your design, so to see it, we cannot click on this one. So again, we need to press window button, and then from there you can see it. So this is actually the um, layout, uh, initial layout of our design when we import our design. Okay. So next, what we do. Um, I think we have done import design and then we need to open design. So file open design. Okay. And then we go to file and then open design. Okay. Then what's next? We see the multiplier. Okay. So this is actually the library that we have created in the early step and we have the multiplier cell okay of size 31 kilobyte okay so just follow the lab step okay uh, we finish that one i think we just click okay okay no need to tick on any of the box here so we just click okay and then so our current uh, library or cell is actually multiplier.cl okay and then what to do next okay we need to I bring it again define the power rail so why we need to define the power rail so power rail is actually your uh, vss okay and also your vdd of the chip lah. so that's actually the most important lah, among the most important um, element in your chip okay we already discussed this in our lecture so maybe i uh, sketch again so we, this is our die okay and this is our area for io remember the floor plan that we discussed in our class and this is actually the area that we're going to put our multiplier in this case okay the logic is, uh, for our multiplier okay and this actually io 
IO and also the power. This is actually IO and power v, VDD or VSS. VSS is actually ground. It's actually ground. Okay, so these are actually we are use different color. The area of VDD and also VSS and also the IO. Okay, normally VDD and VSS we put at the corner. Okay, but in this case we see in our lab as we go along. Okay, so to define the power rail, okay, we need to define the power rail supply for our design. So, okay, this can be accessed through the power menu in the in the layout window. Okay, power menu. Or alternatively, you can type this. Okay, in the uh, what we call ICC command. So let's say we want to use the ICC command. So you just type this. Okay. So maybe I can demo for you. All right. <clears throat> so we have a uh, actually power from uh, pull down menu as mentioned by the menu. Okay. Under the power and also we go to the uh, I think. Uh, yeah, power and uh, we can set the power lah here. Okay, all the inform important information here. Okay, or alternatively, okay, we can use the, the the ICC shell command here. Okay, and look, when you click this, it's not giving you the active lah, active cursor. Again, you need to press the window button. Okay, choose it and then click and then it's okay. To see it uh, side by side, maybe I move this here. Sorry. Make it full. And then this one, we try to move here. Okay. All right. So my face maybe move somewhere. Somewhere here so that we, we can see it clearly. Okay. Okay, again, okay. need to press this again, then okay, ICC back to active mode, and then let's say we want to use the ICC shell. Okay, uh, maybe I show again. So we use we need to key in all this, uh, what we call instruction to the ICC command. Okay, instead of using the power menu, okay, under the layout window, we use this. Okay. So first, we give actually the comment. Okay, comment. Comment is important for us to trace lah. For example, you click this one, and then you go to the log. You see, oh, now we are adding the power rail. If you don't put the comment, it's okay. The system will run. Or the the process will continue as usual. But uh, you cannot trace it when you want to do a report or analyze the, the the process okay okay next we give all the uh what we call reset lah, set the power vdd just follow the lab uh menu okay we set the power we, we label it as vdd okay it's set as vdd and under history also it set as vdd okay and then uh, we set the ground okay as vss okay. Okay, this is actually will appear on your uh, layout here and then we set the power port as vdd okay and then we set the uh, ground port as vss okay and then um, we just follow the, all the steps, okay? You need to understand lah, whatever step that you have done here, you need to understand and try to report in your uh, report. So this is very important lah, for you to understand actually what happened in your lab, okay? Once you understand this, actually, it will complement your, your lab and also lecture, okay? So we, ha we have set this, okay, VDD. Okay, and then we get the information from the terminal. Okay, so the top, top power port VDD has been created. 
total one port created and connected 34 ports and zero round port. Okay. That's for VDD. And now we do for VSS, the ground. Okay. Okay. So, and then we have done on VSS. And what's next? The last one, we do a tile. We tie them. Okay. Don't worry about the error. You just proceed. Okay. Just proceed. So, next. Maybe I can show it here. So, next. Create the floor plan. So next, create the floor plan, and then if you are using the pull down menu, uh, you you click on floor plan and create floor plan. Okay, maybe I can um, show this one first. Okay, you go to the this one floor plan, and then create floor plan. Okay, create floor plan. Okay, remember the topic of floor planning that we have discussed in the class. Okay, this is actually the uh, dialog box. So whereby you will set the left space, bottom, right, and top space of your core area and terminal. Remember core area? So we have discussed the middle uh, rectangular box, okay? Or square box of the die, okay? So that's with how we set, uh, okay? We can set here, okay? That's one one way okay or another way we can use this this command okay this command okay so we need to set this uh, what we call a core area okay maybe i can here so core, core area of our die okay so we need to have all this in our icc uh, command Okay, oops, hopefully everything okay. okay. All right. All right, so what we do is actually we first copy the comment. Okay, for easy reference lah. Okay, we put our comment here floor plan then you enter oh, oh fully internet okay okay floor plan okay that's actually the comment okay we see it here and then what's next we create floor plan okay core and so on okay Try to enter. Okay, why you get this error? Okay, because we have the this one, this slash here. Okay, so the slash there you need to remove it because it will work in a single line. So you paste again. Okay, you remove it. Okay, because we we work in one line. If you want to, you know, have a multiple line, you can, you can use that slash. Okay. okay, make sure all the slash have been removed. Then enter. Okay, now it's okay. And then you can see the changes here. We see actually the, the label here and also you see the die or the, the, the core area here. So the system set the core area here and also we have our die here. So our other logic placement, okay, floor plan for our logic is not yet moving into the die, okay. And what's to do next? You for it, you can read, okay, the information in, under the log file, okay, it tells you about all the information at been set lah, okay the floor plan okay and then uh, we follow the lab manual okay if i bring it back here okay we see like this one okay and then next we, we need to add power rings okay power rings so how to do it okay as i mentioned we can do either using the pull down menu or using the alternative 
way, which is uh, using the IC shell. Okay, using the IC IC shell. So from uh, for this step forward, okay, step step onwards. Okay, sorry, for this step onwards, we will do the ICC shell command. Okay, so as an engineer, you should uh, have to know all the, the, the two steps. Lah. Okay, the ICC command shell method is actually uh, reduce the, uh, the, 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 the actually the step to, to find the information inside the what we call um, layout window. Okay, this is uh, mostly used by the engineer. They use the command shell or ICC shell in this case. Okay, so to do it similarly, okay, I encourage you to type lah. If you cannot type, you can copy lah. Okay, okay, when you type and you, you actually you have uh, two step lah. You read and then you type. If you just copy and then hopefully you understand lah what you did. Okay. And then now we set the uh, comment. We put the comment power ring. Now we do the power ring. Okay. And then first step. Okay. So remember, I just show it again. So we can copy one by one. Okay. To avoid having the slash here. Just copy this one. Okay. And then you paste. Then you enter. Okay. Okay. Here we, we need to have the net. Okay, uh, this 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 step uh, you need to copy and also remove the uh, what we call um, slash. Okay, just to show you the example of error. When you do this, remove the slash. Okay. Oh, okay. We start from the beginning. Uh, early. Easy. Okay. Okay. So we remove this. Okay. 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 Remove this. And remove this. And remove all the flash. Okay. Then you enter. Okay. okay now, after we uh, have all of this. Okay, and then we see the report lah. Okay, and then we, now we can see the power, power, what? Power, we have said the power ring. Ah, it's called as power ring here. Yeah. Okay, you can even zoom under this one lah. Okay, uh, to see it, maybe to see it, you need to press a uh, power in window again, and then you zoom in on this. Okay, you just scroll your uh, mouse, you can see it. Just scroll your mouse and see label as VSS and VDD. Okay, the dimension of these two is actually we set in here. Okay, and we see the VDD and VSS uh, in the rectangular shape of your chip. Lah. Okay, you zoom it back. Okay, and then the I here is actually your uh, location for your IO port, lah. Okay, the outer box. Okay, uh, for this time, you still see the outer boxes here it's, it's not yet mapped to your chip uh, core area okay so we, that's actually the next step lah. okay so we have finished this okay same and then place your design okay to place our design we need to um, follow this step lah. placement core placement and optimization or you just type this 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 one lah. okay this one place underscore opt OPT stand for optimization, and this actually uh, hash actually is a command for you to understand actually the step that you have done so far. Okay, so we start with command. It's always a good practice to have the command in your log file so that you can trace it easily. Oh, window button again. So this is 
uh, task that you need to understand. Uh. So place design, and then you type place OPT. Okay, and it will take some time. Okay. All right. So this time, uh, it looks like you have an error. Uh. Okay, target library does not contain all the required gates. Okay. All right. So let's see. Okay, by this time, this box should be inside your, uh, what we call, uh, core area. I think we need to fix the problem. It's not moving in. Okay, it's supposedly to move in. So, if you, you get this kind of error, I think it's because of our library. Okay, to do it, you go to uh, setup and application setup. Okay, it's either because of your uh, synthesized uh, file, okay, your DDC file, or because of your library. Yeah. So normally that's actually. So we need to find it again. I think we delete it and add again. Okay, where's the location? I think EDA, ref, DP, SC max. Okay, then okay. Okay, as you make, you just double click on, uh, double check on your, let me know. I think the library. <clears throat> the first library actually. We go to the very first one and I can bring it here. Okay. File setup, application setup, okay. Uh, before that, we have set this one, okay, just to make sure it correct. I think this one reported is okay. Um, let's see this one. I O Max, not SC Max. I O Max, just double check. This is I C Max, I O Max, and also uh, RAM. Okay, SC Max, I O Max, and right. So SC Max, so I O Max, we delete this first. We add I O Max again, and okay. It seems like it's okay because we don't see any problem with the path. Okay, 16 by 128 Max. And then you click OK on it. Okay, this looks like it's OK. Okay. Okay. Target library. Okay, I think we need to go to target library. Target library, I think this one. Target and symbol library. Yeah, I think this is actually the problem, but it's not. Um, it shows everything is fine. We go it again. Application and the file setup. Application setup. Okay. Um, this looks like it's okay. Make sure we reset all categories. Reset dialog. Nothing happened. Eh? Okay. All right. So let's try again. Loading target library. Oh, this library. Okay. This gives you error. CB one. Three. Okay, we we'll look at our manual. Unity target library. Can target library. So it's okay. I think uh, we stop the recording first for to allow me to search.
for possible errors lah because if I spend much on the recorded video you will also uh, not be helpful for you lah. so I will find the solution first and then I will get back to you when we finish this okay so I will stop the recording okay and then we will see when I have found the solution for this okay see you soon